everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing this fine Thursday afternoon? Welcome to another craft with me. Um, I did a little work without you guys, sorry about that, but I'm not supposed to be crafting right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be cleaning, but these journals keep calling to me, which probably isn't a bad thing because I do need to get them done. But um, yeah, I've got a house that needs to be cleaned too. I have projects that I want to get done and, and things that I want to get organized and everything before I go to work. But um, yeah, I'm back here crafting. So I thought, well, I already did these without you guys. So I better turn the camera on before I go on to the next thing. So these are the, um, I had showed you guys these when they were just the papers. And I had told you that I wanted to make little notebooks out of them. Well, I went ahead and I did that. I put some fabric on with some tracing paper that's been coffee dyed. And then this image is one of the ones that I wanted to use. Um, I had gathered images before to make um, some spiritual, inspirational kind of um, journals. And so I've had them on my computer saved. I just hadn't used them yet. But this is one of my favorite ones. It says, when God's warriors go down on their knees, the battle is not over. It has just begun. And I chose images that I felt would be empowering to women or that women would relate to since it's for the women at the shelter. I um, went ahead and I printed off all my um, images last night. I was up until, I don't know, 1, 1 30 and... I don't know if this happens to you guys, but do you find that if you craft right before bed, when you try to go to bed, it's like your mind is still going, even though, you know, you've been up all day and it really should be time to settle down and go to sleep. I had that problem last night. I even, you know, I sleep with a diffuser on. I put, um, uh, I do Young Living and I put um, lavender essential oil um, RC, which is for respiratory type stuff with the allergy season kicking in that just gives extra support. And then I even added a little bit of stress away <laughs> in there. So I thought, you know, that combination would, you know, help shut the brain down and, um, let me get to sleep. But no, I probably laid an hour before I finally was able to go to sleep. But anyway, I digress. So one of the other images that I printed off, I, like this one too, it's like a little girl kneeling down by her bed and it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. So I printed that one and then I also have this one and I, I created a document to get these um, to all print on as few pages as possible because I was printing them on like tea dyed, coffee dyed. Um, these ones are on like the peach colored. I used the colored paper is what I'm trying to say. So I was trying to get as many on one page as possible, but still have them big enough to use. Yet I didn't need them huge size either. So anyway, I created documents for these. This one says, and it's a picture of a woman. And it says, a warrior is that woman who gets up despite the enemy trying to destroy her. A woman who declares victory before seeing it. A woman who believes she will receive her miracle because she knows the Lord she serves is alive and by her side. And then this one, <clears throat> excuse me, it's like a butterfly moth is what it is. And it says, Lord, when I'm tempted to worry, fret, or obsess, remind me to pray, trust, and let go. And the name on that is Liz, um, it's kind of small. Liz Curtis Higgs. This is another one of my favorites. This image has been used for a lot of different things, but um, I like this saying on here. It says, on the darkest days when I feel inadequate, unloved, and unworthy, I remember whose daughter I am and straighten my crown. Isn't that cool? I love that. That is one of my favorites. These images are from Diane Shaw, who is Shawcraft One. 
And this was a digi kit that I purchased. And I think she has another one or she was going to do another one. So I need to check that out. But um, I probably won't be able to get it for these journals though. But I have, I have quite a few here to work with. So there's this one. And these are printed on like um, purple um, dyed paper. So they're not as clear on here as they truly are. Are, or they might not look as clear on camera. So I just want to say that her images are beautiful and and they're very um, clear and, and legible and everything. It's just the way I did them. Excuse me, I need to get a drink. It's almost three o'clock and I'm still working on coffee. When they cry out to me, I will hear for I am compassionate, Exodus 2227. And I've got two of each image that I printed. Um, this one goes this way. And it says, if we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. 2 Timothy 2.13. This was on like a blue, bluish purple colored paper. Uh, this one says, for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you nor shall my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has mercy on you, Isaiah 54, 10. So I wanted to incorporate scriptural things, and my printer was doing a weird thing with the ink, but I'll, I'll disguise that when I use it. But I wanted to include inspirational and scripture type things that would encourage the ladies, you know, throughout the journal. Uh, this one is Romans 8.34. It says, The one who died for us, who has raised to life for us, is in the presence of God at this very moment, sticking up for us. So as you notice, these are like birds and butterflies. God can do anything you know, far more than you could ever imagine or guess, or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us. His spirit deeply and gently within us. Ephesians 3, 20 through 21. And this one goes this way. Watch what God does and then you do it. Mostly what God does is love you. What, bleh. Mostly what God does is love you. Keep company with him and learn a life of love. Observe how Christ loved us. His love was not cautious but extravagant. He didn't love in order to get something from us, but to give everything of him. Sorry, the writing is hard for me to read because my eyes are old. Of himself to us, love like that. Ephesians 5.12 Our love must not be a thing of words and fine talk. It must be a thing of action and sincerity. 1 John 3.18 but the Lord stood with me and gave me strength. 2 Timothy 4, 17. Now these bird ones I had saved separate. So I don't know if these were a freebie that someone included in a group or if these are from Diane too. So if I'm wrong and these aren't yours, Diane, I apologize. And whoever, whoever they are, if they're not hers, I apologize for not giving you credit. But I, I thought they were hers, so I could be wrong. Okay, for I have determined to know nothing among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. 1 Corinthians 2.2 2. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Joshua 1.9 And I'm sorry if there's anybody watching who doesn't like to hear scriptures. Um, you're more than welcome to fast forward past this part. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to push anything on anybody. Um, I'm just sharing with you what I'm putting in the journal. We can't round up enough containers to hold everything God generously pours into our lives through the Holy Spirit, Romans 5.5. 5. Psalm 91.4, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Psalm 91.4, I probably already said that. I love that one. Oh, wait a minute. No, these were all Diane's. These are all the same size. It's these ones I wasn't sure. I'm so sorry. I got confused. These are the ones I wasn't sure if they were Diane's or not because they're larger. Um, so I'm not sure where I got these ones. 
It says, God's not mad at you. He's mad about you, Pastor Justin Phillips. Did I only do one of these? Oh, no, I did two of these. I thought I had sorted these. Let me grab the ones that are duplicates. Um, these are butterflies. It says, for a seed to achieve its great ex expression, it must come completely undone. The shell cracks, its insides come out, and everything changes to someone who doesn't understand growth. It would look like complete destruction. That's kind of cool. The key to life is to understand who you are in Christ, who he created you to be through the work he did in you on the cross. Pastor Gary Garner. Looks like I got three of each of these. I threw in the towel. God threw it back and said, wipe your face, you're almost there. <laughs> cute. <laughs> I should have printed one of those for everybody. <laughs> Excuse me, because I'm sure everybody could use a good laugh. That would have been a good one to put in all the journals. So anyway, those are the images that I got printed off that I'll be using for various things. But um, these tablets are done, except I wanted to ink around the edges and I haven't done that yet. So it was funny earlier, I was sitting here um, I hadn't even started sewing yet. I think I was still decorating the front of these. And um, I just, all of a sudden, I stood up. I'm like, oh my gosh, what time is it? And right at that time, the phone rang. And it was my son calling me because I needed to take him to work. <laughs> but it was so funny that we both, you know, were thinking of it at the same time. I had just gotten kind of involved in what I was doing. And... Uh, wasn't paying attention to the time and you know it just kind of dawned on me all of a sudden oh my gosh I do have something I need to do but that's the only thing I have to do today is uh transport him so I'm getting antsy to get started you know I'm, I'm getting antsy to get started working yeah I drive by there every now and then to see their progress at Hobby Lobby I'm talking about um I had to pick my son up from work at night time on uh, Tuesday and so at night you know they've got the security lights on so I could actually see inside the store to see you know where they're at how much they have done and <clears throat> they have really come along um, a lot of it looks like all of the fixtures and like shelves and all that kind of stuff are up and ready to go so that I don't see any product in there yet, though, so they, they haven't done that part yet, which is, you know, what I'm supposed to be starting uh, in there to do when, when I start work. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, it's it's fun to just kind of see where they're at and how they're coming along, but I, I am getting antsy. I, I don't do well being off work for any long period of time. I'm just, I'm a person that likes to work also like to have that paycheck coming in but uh, but yeah uh, I like to work though too which is probably a good thing since I'll probably have to work till I die but <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I enjoy it <laughs> I have enjoyed having time to craft though you know somebody had commented about you know that I've been putting the the videos out and well you know when you're not working you have time to do that and I've enjoyed being able to craft and spend time with you guys. And I've, you know, been in a lot of lives and just really um, enjoyed the YouTube craft community. But um, I'm sure once I get going here, that's going to diminish a little bit. I mean, I'll still have days off and all of that. And of course, I still need to keep my YouTube channel going. But I don't know if it's going to show up on this one. This one I had to doctor a little bit because my sewing machine, oh my gosh, it's a good thing I wasn't filming that because, you know, I might have dropped a word or two that would not be appropriate on camera, but oh my gosh, even my daughter come out, she's like, are you all right? <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm going to throw a sewing machine out the window here in a minute. <laughs> That's all. It's just giving me trouble. 
I think it was something I was doing wrong, of course, but, <laughs> but it's the sewing machine's fault. <laughs> but I'm still hooked on sewing on paper. I just love it, even if I do fight with the sewing machine. It's just because I'm such a novice at sewing, I'm sure. Yeah, you can't really see a lot of that on the front, but that's all right. Oops, I still... Where'd that thread go? I guess it wasn't attached. So anyway, um, what else was I going to tell you guys? What have you guys been up to? I probably should have went live so you could talk to me, but Johnny's doing a sale right now. And while that's not a total hindrance of going live, it certainly can serve as an excuse. <laughs> I like going live, but I don't like going live, you know? It's like I like being able to talk to you guys and not just be like talking to you, knowing you're not watching it right at this moment that you'll see it later. But it's also, um, I don't know, it's a little more pressure to be interesting and uh, pay attention to all the chat and, you know, still pay attention to what I'm doing. And so... It's fun, though. I mean, I, I do enjoy it. It's not that I don't. It's just a little more challenging. And I don't know if I really feel like being challenged today too much. I think that sewing machine challenged me about all I care to be challenged. Not to mention the fact that I can't hang out on YouTube all day today. I've got to get some work done. I've got the rest of this week and next week. And then, um, then I'll be starting work. So that'll be good. I'm ready. Well, I say I'm ready. We'll see if my body's ready when I work my first nine hour day. I haven't done that in a long time. Even when I'm subbing, our days are seven hour days. They're not, uh, they're not nine. But I don't think, you know, I don't think I would have been brought to this situation if it wasn't something I could handle. So I'm going to try not to worry about it too much. Just trust that it'll all work out. Sewing's not perfect. It gets a little wonky at times, but I'm getting better. Good enough to work, I think, for the journal you know it's not anything I'm not gonna um, use because it doesn't look good enough I think it I think I do well enough Let's just put it that way it's not perfect but it's good enough so once I get done inking these I have um, that initial ephemera I had done with the bifold, trifold, pocket thingy, whatever. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But I want to finish decorating those so I can call those done. That's all I have left to, to do on them. It's a little more decorating. And then I think I'll be ready to start... Um, Well, I want to make, I do want to make some paper clips. Like I want to do some of the hidden paper clips and probably some bead dangles. I don't know if I'll do beads on camera, honestly, you guys, because um, beads are another thing that, you know, tend to give me a little trouble. It's just because it's so small and intricate. And it's hard for me to see, too. So, like, I have to hold it up here where you can't see me so that I can see. I love this paper. I just love everything about this booklet. I like the way all the colors come together. There's the back side of it. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, they're all pretty in their own way, but this one just really speaks to me aesthetically. It's just very pleasing to my eye.
yesterday I had to go grab my auction lot from the crazy lady. I got a bead basket. It had some good stuff in there. Some not so good. Like, I don't really care for the pony beads so much. And there were a few of those, but it wasn't all pony beads. If I think about it, maybe I'll grab it and show you guys while we're on here instead of doing a separate video. Laura, uh, I call her Laura of the dogs. <laughs> it's Laura Laughing Dogs. Well, it's not Laura Laughing. It's Laughing Dogs Book Nook, I think, is her YouTube channel. Her name is Laura. And when we end up with a lot of people in chat named Laura, I call her Laura of the dogs <laughs> so that we can discern which Laura we're talking about. Just like Laura the Jersey Crafter, I call her Jersey so that um, she knows when I'm talking to her. But now that uh, Laura of the dogs has just stuck, <laughs> fortunately she gets a kick out of it. So that's all good. But wherever I see her now, I call her that. Anyway, the point I was making was she had asked me if I would show uh, what I had got from the crazy lady. <clears throat> if you're new and just tuning in for the first time, the crazy lady is actually um, a local online auction person. Her name is Crazy Lazy Discount Auctions. But I just refer to her as the crazy lady. <laughs> as a lot of people do. Her name is Lisa. And I finally asked her, I'm like, what is your name? Because I always refer to you as the crazy lady. <laughs> She's like everybody does. <laughs> She's quite a character. And she also, you know, as I've told you guys before, lives right here in the same apartment complex that I do. They're actually townhomes, but anyway. It matters not. It's the same complex. So, anyway, I also got some square glass containers. <clears throat> I think I got six or eight. She had four lots of them, and I bought two lots, and somebody else bought two lots. And I think it was a dollar for all of them. Her stuff is incredibly, um, I hate to say cheap, but it is. I got a tower heater for my basement because it gets kind of cold down there in the winter i had another heater that my dad got for me but um it doesn't really do the job and this one's a call tower one i thought maybe it would put out some more heat but anyway i got that for eight dollars and i'm sure you know it sells well into the 80s or 90s brand new and she said it worked she turned it on and it heated right up so um so that's good I'm just kind of telling you what I got that I'm probably not going to show you. I had also got some glass jars from there in a previous auction. They're the square kind with the lids that have the rubber. They're kind of like on this style, you know, where it's got the pull-off lid with the rubber, except they're shorter and, and squarish looking. But I got a bunch of those. Those are actually in here. I could probably show you if you wanted to see them, but... I thought those would look cute on my shelf with different um, fibers or fabrics or stuff in them. I have a, I have some jars on my top shelf that are like that, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put something else in them. But that's what I got them for. I, I like to see my stuff, and if I can, you know, put it in something decorative, then um, all the better, right? Okay, so these are done and ready to go in the journals. I have a little drawer going down here in one of my storage things that um, I'm putting all the finished stuff in. Sorry if I totally just slurped in your ear. I apologize. I had rinsed my sponge all out and cleaned it. So it's ready to get dirtied up again. Okay, so the things I need to decorate are these things. And I've just kind of tucked them in the um, signatures that I've put together so far. I gotta add more to those yet. That's just what I have in them so far. But I wanna get these decorated. I wanna do something with the tags so that these can be finished and I won't have to pull them out again. 
Some of them, the fabric on them looks really good. Some of them, eh, I'm not real impressed. This is one of them I'm not really impressed with. Um, so I need to add something to it. I may use some of these images. Well, I'm sure I'm going to use some of these images. I need a couple of them, though, because I'm trying to keep things kind of uniform to make it easier um, to decorate. So let me pull a few more off of here. I don't want to get out too many at once, but um, I want to get some that are different, too, so that I can um, make sure they all look good on there. Let me put this back in there so we can just focus on the fronts for right now. Okay, so I have a bigger area, so I could probably use some of these bigger ones. But I don't really want to cover up all the fabric either, so maybe I don't want to use... This is just the trial and error process right here, just kind of seeing. Because I can always like collage it too, like I can put other stuff. This has colors that might kind of go more with everything too. Yeah, and that can kind of go. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this image. I really hate to cover that one up too much. Huh. Some of these are really more ornate than others. I don't know though. Am I gonna to wanna to use those tall ones? Most of them, they're okay, but the ones like these, if I had a smaller one, it would, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have put so much covering on there. Well, hold on a second. Let's try something else. Let's try the butterfly one. I don't know. I don't think anything is going to look good on this one. I may have to, ones like these, I may have to figure out something else and not put something on the front of those. Like maybe just put a little something up here that's not one of the images and just use the, like, you know, maybe I'll put the image on the inside so that they still have it, but then do the front differently. I mean, they don't have to be the same. They're going to all different people, so no one is going to know I mean, unless they show each other their journals, no one is going to know what each person got. This one definitely needs more collage on it because it's more of a plain, um, it's more of a plain front. I definitely like the coloring with all of this, though. So we'll just tuck this on the inside for now. Figure out what we're going to do with it. That can go on the front. Okay. So then the other thing, I think I'm going to round the corners on these. I better not round those corners or I might cut off the words and I really want them to get all of the words. I want that to be right up against those beads though so I'm going to have to trim the edge of that off. But I do kind of want to put something, do I want to put something underneath of it or do I just want the image on there? I could put like a little flower or something up there. Maybe I'll just 
put it down here and then put like a little flower or something right there. I don't know. Do I want something behind it? I don't really have a lot of room. I always have this feeling like I have to really layer everything and collage it. I think that's the mixed media person in me. For me just to put something down like this, I'm like, ah, I need something more. But there's a lot going on on these in the first place. So, oh, drop my glitter glue on the floor. I'm like, where's my glitter glue? You're just going to do it. You're not going to overthink it. I'm just going to put it down. I know the ladies are going to love these regardless. I'm sure. Hopefully. I guess I shouldn't say I know. I know if it was me, I would love them. But I still want to... Um, I don't know, I'm still fussy, you know, I'm still fussing over them, even though I'm sure they're going to, they're probably not going to notice the things that I notice, I guess is what I'm saying. Or maybe they will, I don't know, maybe they are crafters, you never know. I shouldn't assume anything, right? Okay, so I got that one down. Now, do I want to mess with the tag yet? I think I do. I need to... Oh my gosh, I just heard something fall in the kitchen. And some shoes fell, but what made them fall? Freaky deaky. I don't know. I don't know what happened out there. Okay, so that's for journaling on the back. So I don't want to put anything with too much. Do I want to put another image on here? Not that one, that's for sure. Dude, that one pretty much covers, no. No, it just covers too much up. So, do we want to just leave the tag as it is and just put some fiber on it? Maybe we do. Maybe we don't want to decorate everything all up. I mean, they're so pretty on their own, aren't they? You know what I could do, though? I could create a little dangle something to go on there with it. That would be cute. Could do that. What do I want to put on there? <laughs> I just had a thought. I was talking about putting a flower or something there. I have Donna Little's uh, flower kits over here to the side. Maybe I will um, put those on the front there. Okay, let me grab my fiber star. Not that I don't have 20,000 different things I could put in there, but, um, sorry, I'm clinging my jars together, trying to get a hold of it. These are the jars that I'm talking about. I think I've showed you guys these before. I've got big jars like these that were gifted to me from a gal who she had a whole box of jars that she wanted to get rid of and there was about three or four jars in there like this isn't that cool and so i used them to put this one has my fibers um the other one has my snippets from um well from a lot of different people but they're the um india fabric snippets and then the other one has vintage laces in it from down a little. So some of my favorite things, you know, just displayed and easy to grab hold of when I need them. And I just messed up all my pictures. I've got this big old table and I still don't seem to have enough room for everything I want to do. Okay, this is the one I was working on. I should move these over so they're not all right here in my way. That would be the smart thing to do, wouldn't it? And I had just done that one. See, I hadn't planned to film. I haven't even ate yet today. 317 and I've not had a drop to eat. Isn't that crazy? This is what I do. I get going, I get busy, and before I know it, the day is gone and I just don't have time. This is kind of pretty. 
I don't really care for that color with it, but yet it does add something different, something to add interest. We'll see what else we have. This was kind of catching my eye. This has like a, that's kind of pretty too. It's got different, different variegated colors in it. It's got the green and the, yeah, I think I'm going to put some of that on there. Some of this will do. Take it through a couple times, I think. Take it through a couple times just so it's thicker and so I get more of the colors. I gotta try and find my loop so I can take it through there. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty, right? And then, um, oh, here, let me cut that loop. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks nice with it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Okay, so we'll put that back in there. That'll be pretty on there. Just kind of let that hang down right there. And then... Let's grab, oh my gosh, you guys can see the mess on my table. I know it probably is the same for all of us. We're all so much alike in the way that we do stuff, but um, it's like you got to be careful how you grab stuff so you don't create a, what do they call it, craft a lanch. I'm going to move my coffee for just a second. Up so I can reach them. Let's try these ones. This is a pack I got a hold of. I've got so many of them, I don't know that it really matters which ones we use. These ones have a few layers though, and I don't know if I want too many layers. Let's see how thick it gets because you get too many layers going in that. Oh, why don't you guys tell me? Put my glue pin back in my glue. <laughs> What's the matter, you guys? You're supposed to be looking out for me. I'm telling you these things. Okay, I need to get all the pieces out of here. I love these kits from Down a Little. As you guys probably already know because I buy so many. So there's the next layer. I got the little spidery thing. I mean, I don't have to use all the layers, but. there. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think it looks a lot better than it did. That's for sure. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. And these, you know, as you push the book together, they will flatten a little bit because they are doilies. So let's go ahead and put that together. There's Liz coming down the steps. She doesn't know I'm filming, but Oh, it doesn't matter. Huh? It's not my fault. The house is literally the environment and creaking. I know. Everything creaks. Everywhere you walk in here, it creaks. The floors are creaky. When you're downstairs in the basement, that's all you hear is creaking. Yeah. When you're upstairs, you hear the creaking downstairs. Yeah. I know it. It's a creaky place. Yeah. What are you after? Well, you just had lunch. You shouldn't need any. Didn't you take two bottles of water up with you? It's hot. Oh, you drank them all right? Well, I'm not going to complain about you drinking water. That's for sure. Is it hot up there? Yeah. Because it's cold down here. I had turned the air way up so it wouldn't kick on. So if you need to uh, make it kick on, turn it up, whatever, whatever you call it. <laughs> I guess you turn it down to make it kick on. You turn it up to... Anyway, whatever you need to do, you can do it. And I will put a sweatshirt on if need be. So what do you think of these like this now? It was just this on here. And I added this picture and the flower. And then I put this on the tag. Pretty aesthetic. Pretty aesthetic. 
Is it aesthetically pleasing? I won't go that far, but it's okay. You wouldn't go that far. What do you guys <laughs> think? Do you guys think it's aesthetically pleasing? <laughs> I like it. I think it looks a lot better than it did, and now I can call it done. So let me put it back with the signature I had. Is that the one I had it with? I kind of was trying to match colors up a little bit. I think I had it with this one. All right, well, I'm just going to put it back with that one anyway. It doesn't really matter. I mean, they all, they don't have like a particular theme of color, but... I don't know. I had them together for some reason. I had a method to my madness at one point. Okay. All right. On to the next one. All right. This one, I don't want it all matchy-matchy. Like, I don't want it, like, right down there so it's, like, side by side. Let's see. How do I want to do it, though? Can't go up too high or I'll be in the Let me trim the edges off first and then I can figure it out better. So I'm thinking I could put this one. What is that? A little goober or something right there it's not coming off i can't really get that up high enough unless i i can't really trim it or i'll cut that off that goober cannot stay there but if i move it up then it's hanging over grr well i may have to put a little gem or something on there so i could put this right here and I can put the little flower down here. Liz is never one to really say too much about my crafts. She doesn't really care about it at all. <laughs> She could care less. There. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I really like that. Maybe I need to overlap it a little bit. Like that. Maybe I need to do it like that. Bring that over. And then put like a little gem or something up there. A little row of something. I don't know. I just don't like it so like all lined up perfectly. I feel like it needs to overlap. I don't know, maybe this one needs something behind it just because it's got less decoration on it. Let me see. Let me see. What can I put behind it? Even if I just put some um, something from my scrap pack behind it. Maybe something in this light green would be pretty. That kind of makes it pop out a little bit. Just tear with my flower for a minute. Sorry, sometimes I get in more of my talk to myself mode and then I quiet down. I'm liking that better already. I have enough room for my flower on there.
glue these together. Gosh, it's so quiet around here today. It's kind of weird. Not here like in our apartment. I mean here like in our complex. Not that I'm complaining, that's for darn sure. Maybe we need a little bit of zhuzh around here of inking. Just a little zhuzh. These are going to get inked too, of course. Oh, yes, I put that one away. And it needs to be inked. You guys didn't even holler at me and tell me. Dorinda, it's not inked. Stop. Stop. Grab it back. I might actually be able to get that up there and cover that. Yes. Yes, I can cover it. Good. You guys know I inked everything. It must be inked in some sort of way. It doesn't always have to be brown, but it has to be inked in some sort of way. stuck down because it's lower here and then goes up on the fabric a little bit. I think it'll be okay though. Okay, and then the fly. Yes! Yes! I think that will work. I like that much better. It works for me. Does it work for you guys? I hope so. Because that's what we're going to do. on there. Sometimes it's hard to tell which way they go. I guess if it's hard to tell, it really shouldn't matter, right? I don't know why we worry so much about that. I keep thinking the pin's on there because it gets that big glob of glue. Like, oh, I gotta take the pin out. Oh, no, you don't. You just got a big glob of glue on there. I'm gonna have to get something to eat pretty soon, though. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. I'm gonna need a little pearl on top. Oh, don't turn over. Don't turn over. Oh, I hate that when that happens. I get glue on it because I drop it in the glue. Gar. Gar. Make me start growling at it. Good thing is that dries clear. And of course, I did my nails again, so let's get them all messed up with glue because that's what I do, don't you know? I do my nails and then I get glue and paint on them and then they look like crud again. There. I kind of like that. Yes, I do. I'll put some, put some uh, eyelash trim. I don't know where I got this. Obviously, I got this from somebody because it's on a card, but I don't know who. Because a lot of people include this in Happy Mail and as um, the freebie. I keep hearing things in the kitchen. I don't know. Liz thinks our house is haunted. She could be right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm hearing out there. Better not be any critters. I know that much. I've never had that problem here, but Liz did see a little mouse out in the garage the other day, and I hadn't seen that before either, so there's that. Yeah, I really like this eyelash trim with this napkin, too. It works. It works. It works for me. It does, it does. I like the way that falls like that. And it flips open to right on. 
But let's pull him back out. Let's give it a little zhuzh of ink. Don't even need to re-ink it yet. Just want a little touch of it. It's already on dyed paper, but you know. You know, still got to ink it. Just a little. This is kind of thinner paper. It's just, I think it's just regular copy paper. Um, that's been dyed. I don't know because somebody did it for me, so. All right. Oh, it's like, where'd my dad go? I lost it already. All right, there we go. Now we can say it's done. Whoops. So there's one of them. I'm looking at it in the, I'm looking at it over there in the camera and seeing how it looks because then I can see it at a different angle. I like it. All right. So we'll put this back where it belongs. I don't know if it was on this one, but it'll, it'll work with it. Okay. Pull this other one back up here. So, whoopsie. So we can uh, put a little ink around that. I guess I don't really need to take the tag out. I just need to move the eyelash trim so I can get around it. course these aren't going to go in here like this I just have them um, on there like that just to keep them together for right now okay so we got this one all right are we at an hour already really 53 minutes anyway wow I don't know if you guys are going to want to craft with me for the whole time, or maybe I'll just break it up into two videos. You know, for me, all I have to do is stop and restart it, and there's our two videos, but because um, I don't know who wants to really sit and watch a craft with me for three or four hours. I don't think I would want to do that. I don't think my tension span would last that long unless of course you're actually crafting along with me which is the whole idea but you know I'm not always crafting along when I'm watching a craft along video sometimes I'm just watching but if I am actually crafting along then of course it's better if it's longer because then I can just stay with the same person with what they're doing. We definitely need to back this. I feel like I need to add something a little more decorative. And I do have, um, Safia's pretty trim, so maybe we can add a trim to this one to decorate it up. Maybe just a little, just a little extra something along the edge. Nothing too crazy, because I still want this to fit. a little bit wide. I don't know if we have anything. Little, what colors do I have? A little bit of green in there. Sorry, I'm doing a little talking to myself here. That one's pretty, but I think that one's not quite as wide. That one's pretty. That right there. Put the picture. And then a the little flower. Yeah, I think 
think that'll work. That'll give it a little extra something, won't it? So let's put that one on there. Okay, how much do I need? About right there. Okay, let's put that over there. Good Lord, I cut that crooked straight to save my life you guys there we go try that again okay now I think for this with it being a little bit heavier piece I need to pull out the fabric tag and that will mess my nails up for sure so let's see if I can do this without getting it all over my fingers we really need it on this middle piece Let loose. Got a stringy dingy. Of course, that comes right up through there and gets on my finger. One of these days, I gotta remember to bring the baby wipes up from my studio downstairs. better already, doesn't it? A little paper off there. Oh, maybe. Okay. Oh my goodness. My backside's hurting a little bit. I think this green paper will work again. So let's, uh, we don't want perfect edges though. We want it torn. So let's Quite like that. Okay, that will fit. This is tear across here. trying to see how much room I need down here for the flower because I can always tuck that inside like I did before and I can move it over a little bit too. Okay. All right. I think that'll work. Let's give it a little zhuzh. I guess what I could do is end this video when I want to end it and go get some lunch and then come back and and uh, do a part two. I don't know if you guys want to see me do the whole process of this even though um, I mean it's all the same kind of ephemera but they all look a bit a little bit different but I don't know if you want to see the whole process or if you've seen enough just with this little bit I'm sure some people are like yeah we've seen enough and some people are like no no I want to see the whole thing so I guess whichever way I want to go with it will work because if you don't want to see it just don't watch the video if you do then watch it <laughs> I don't know why I worry so much about should I or shouldn't I? I mean, if people want to see it, they'll see it. And if they don't, they won't. It's just the way it works. It's the nature of the YouTube beast. I'll tell you one thing, though. It gets a little frustrating. And I've told you guys before, I'm not all about the 
numbers of subscribers and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it would be nice to grow my channel and, you know, maybe eventually someday get to the point where I would have the option of being monetized or whatever. I mean, I know you don't make a fortune, but, you know, it would be kind of nice to get there eventually. But the last couple days, I have hit 800 subbies twice. And then I have immediately, within the same day, gone right back down by two, three, four. So it's it's a little frustrating, you know, it's like I can't even get excited about, you know, hitting another milestone because it doesn't last long enough to stay excited about it, you know. It's just a little a little frustrating. A little annoying. But it'll get there when it's meant to get there. But once I get back to work and I do hit 800, I'm going to do a subby giveaway. And I know I already owe stuff, and I haven't forgotten about any of the stuff I owe, and that will get out. It's just a matter of having the funds to be able to mail it all now. I should have done it when I had it. I realize that, and I do apologize. And there's no excuse for being late on mailing stuff out. That's It's just wrong. It's just wrong that I haven't done it, and I apologize for that. But now I'm at the point where I can't do it because I don't have the funds to do it. As soon as I do, I will. That is on my list of priorities to uh, get stuff mailed out to people because they've been waiting a long time, and they've been very gracious about it. Not one person has complained. They may have unsubscribed. <laughs> I don't know, but no one has complained or or said anything and there's a few people who are still very kind commenting on my channel and and still being sweet as ever even though i owe them prizes so i do apologize for that but um anyway the point i was making is that i am going to be doing a giveaway as well if i ever you know maintain <laughs> 800 for more than a few hours. <laughs> so be watching for that. <laughs> but it won't be until next month anyway. But I also have a birthday next month, so maybe I'll do a, a subby birthday giveaway. I'm not doing any more challenges. Um, those, I just, I don't know. I've gotten to the point now where I just feel kind of weird doing those. It's like I'm asking people to send me stuff for the chance of winning, you know, a prize. And I just feel like that's, I don't know, it's just not sitting well with me. After I did the last one, I was just like, you know, I get all this stuff, all these beautiful things, and what am I giving them in return, you know? So I just kind of don't think I'll be doing those anymore. Not, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it. I mean, heaven knows, I've done two of them. But just for me, it just doesn't feel right anymore. So it'll just be a giveaway. You won't have to do anything. I like this being full, but it sure does make it harder for tying it on, finding the loop. Finally did it though. We did it. We did it. There we go. All right. I do love how that looks with all that fuzzy on there. I like the way that came out too. I think that looks a lot better. Go ahead and ink around it.
So tomorrow, I actually have plans to meet with my butterfly ladies. Um, I've talked about this before, but um, I do have a ministry that I co-founded with two other ladies um, called Butterfly House Ministries. Um, you may notice um, I have this butterfly ring and I have another one. Butterflies are quite significant to me as they are to a lot of people. Um, you know, they just are so beautifully representative of change and the things that you may have to go through that seem like they are torturous, but yet sometimes you have to go through that pain and that struggle to come out on the other side and and you you may not have to go through it but you may get in a situation where you do go through it but there's always that opportunity to make changes and to come out on the other side stronger more beautiful in your life um having a more beautiful life whatever the transition the process of transformation um, is very significant to me in my life so when uh, we were coming up with a name for our ministry um, the name butterfly house kind of just came to me and it just signifies that place of transformation so the fact that we're going to have a women's shelter and home a transitional home um, butterfly house just seems so fitting for that that it would be a house where transformation can occur so anyway there's a little story about that but anyway we're getting together tomorrow afternoon which i always look forward to because um we're all so busy that we don't have the time to meet as much as we used to and, and we'll get back to it again. We're just kind of in a different phase right now where um, we're all busy doing different things, but still yet trying to come together and um, see what we need to do, you know, as a ministry. So I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. That'll be a good time. We had talked about maybe doing it today, but since I had to transport my son uh, to and from work and neither one of us, or neither, there's three of us, none of us have anything going on tomorrow. So we decided to shoot for tomorrow instead. But it seems like we all always have a lot to share. Like Angela, she's Native American and um, they had their camp meeting on the reservation this past weekend so she'll have a lot to share about that and we actually used to minister at that we used to do um oh lessons and stuff for the kids but um i myself especially have not been able to um i don't like this ribbon that's on here now that we're doing this um it started with me when i went back to work subbing um a few years ago We've been doing this for, gosh, I think it's four or five years now that we've had the ministry. But when I went back to work subbing, I didn't have as much time as I did before. And so there wasn't as much that I could do ministry-wise. And I'm kind of the one that um, orchestrates a lot of things. So... Um, when I wasn't able to do that, we just ended up not doing as much. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is why we don't do the camp meetings anymore. Um, since I have the education background, I'm the one that usually pulled together the lessons and uh, did that particular plan. Plus, I'm the craft person, so, you know, along with the lessons comes the, the crafts that we do with it, so... I haven't had as much time for that. But Angela, she is part of the council or the 
the ministry that puts it together, she's on the board of that. And her sister and brother-in-law also are key in doing that. And they also are on the same board. So she does that with them. Tania, she's, um, it, it's really interesting the way that we came together and the different cultures that we bring because Angela's Native American, Tania's African American, and I am just your regular old mixed bag American. But the three of us together, not only do we bring different cultures and different experiences, but some of the experiences we also have shared. So it just, it just makes for a good mixing pot for working with a variety of situations. So it's kind of like God knew what he was doing when he brought us together is what I'm kind of getting at. You know, I'm not trying to make this channel about religion. It is about crafting, but you know, other aspects of our life are also a part of our channel and this ministry and you know god is a very big aspect of my life so you know if you don't want to hear those things that's okay just you know fast forward past those parts but they will come out because it's just part of who i am so so there's that <laughs> i am who i am and I am a mixed bag. <laughs> a lot of layers. A lot of facets. I wear many hats. And maybe this time I'll use this side. But anyway, Tania, she is very much into uh, media. She likes to do, um, she had a program that I really miss it. It was called Talk Time with Tania, and I shared some of her videos. So those of you that are friends with me on Facebook um, would have seen that. She has a YouTube channel, too. You guys should check it out. I'll link it below. It's Talk Time with Tania. And um, she has some really interesting guests she has interesting topics interesting did i really just say that interesting topics um tania is one of those people that um she just exhumes love or exudes not exhumes she doesn't exhume she exudes love and um she's just i just love her to death she is just um I don't know she's just one of those people that you're drawn to that you want to talk to she's just so warm and bubbly and um she's just a fantastic lady and i love her dearly but she's always you know she's always there to pray for you if you need it to encourage you um and she does that through media and you know she'd really like to have a show someday i believe she will she's she's very much a natural at speaking especially when she starts talking about things of a spiritual nature it just flows from her but so those are the areas that she's interested in you know i have the art crafts that kind of thing and Angela she's very much always out ministering to the people whether she intends to or not she's she likes to stay behind the scenes but God is always pulling her out and having her uh speak and pray and all that kind of stuff but uh but yeah that's that's our ministry those are my my gals and we always have a great time when we get together
So I am really looking forward to tomorrow. bit of allergy type stuff is trying to grip us a little bit in this house nothing major just little bits here and there I can just kind of feel it a little bit so I use my essential oils to counteract that stuff I am a true believer in essential oils not all are created equal though so be careful of that you know when you're looking for essential oils please do your homework and really um, investigate where they're coming from and what their actual ingredients are because um, they can say they're um, they can say they're natural or pure with only five percent oil in there and um, Young Living is the only one I know of that has what's called a seed to seal promise where everything they do is 100% natural from beginning to end. And the only thing you get in their bottle is all oil. And you can tell that by um, comparing to other oils, which I have done. They are different in the way that they smell for sure they're much more they're much stronger you can tell it's more concentrated but um many of their oils are safe to ingest and they have a line um for that where other oils you couldn't pay me to ingest them because i don't know what i'd be ingesting so um i can stand for young living i can uh, say that that's what I believe in but that's the only one I can recommend let's put it that way but I 100% believe they are awesome for our body well I've certainly run the gamut of uh, this that and the other thing today haven't I from ministry and religion to oils and <laughs> I don't know if you guys just heard that or not but my tummy just rumbled we're gonna do these two and then I'll shut it down until I get something to eat and then I'll uh, come back on and do another um, craft with me and we'll finish up the other ones and if we have enough time maybe even start something else I don't know it may not be till much later, too, because um, I do need to get some house cleaning done. Yeah, I kind of cut that in a little too far, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight lines, does it? Of course not. There's no rules. Only the rules we put upon ourselves. We do like to do that sometimes, don't we? Okay, now how am I gonna... I wasn't really thinking about this when I put all those beads on there. Of course, I didn't know I was gonna... Although we did say if they didn't work, we could put the picture on the inside. I could just put a flower on the outside of this one. And not put an image. I got little threads all over here I could just do this on the front I, know, I don't really like the way that shows right there though maybe I'll see I don't like how it looks kind of like grungy right there and that's probably from the glue coming through I could put the flower there and still put the image on here I might go ahead and do that. That's a little bit busy and it'll be hard to stick it down, but um, I, 
think I'm going to do that. I'm going to move that over a little bit. Yup, that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I'm going to... I might need that just to fit around those beads, so I might need that to be um, free and not have anything behind it. I think I will do it like that. I could... Could peel these up maybe yeah I don't know I think it might be worse trying to peel them up than just to try and glue over top of them that's the bad thing about you know starting part of my decorating and then coming back and doing more when I was putting all those beaded things on there I wasn't thinking about you know, what else I might need to put on there and if it was going to all work together. But that's why you improvise sometimes, right? You just make it work as best you can. I am going to put this over to the edge as far as possible. And I'm just going to kind of carefully just do it around the beads. about it too much. Tomorrow I can actually officially get my first paycheck from Hobby Lobby. We got paid for the orientation that I went to, was it last week, week before? When did I go to that? I don't know, a little bit ago. So that'll be fun. Of course, after that, it'll be direct deposit, but It won't be a lot, but it'll be a little bit. A little bit. There we go. Okay. It's a little bit wet, but when it dries, it'll be okay. I think it came out all right. Just has more of a mixed media look to it, I think, but that's all right. I mean, that's perfect for me. Of course, I like that look, so I'm good with it. I am good with it. Mm. Need to fold that a little differently. are Go pulling it all the way through I think I did that a little harder than I needed to there we go scissors there they are there the way I wanted to but that's all right that's all right you know I should have should have went around the tags a little bit
What was I thinking? I took a uh, Mod Podge over the top of these, so I'm hoping that will keep those sequins and beads on. Keep it sealed. It's the one thing about these pretty fabrics when you cut them all up, you have to be careful because um, you know it breaks that, that thread, and uh, then you gotta worry about fallout. So. Where's that one done? All right. This one, I think we're just going to, um, I think we're just going to put a flower like right here. there. So let's do that. Now it's getting a little bit long at an hour and a half. I don't know how many people will actually watch it all the way through, but that's all right. That's all right. Whichever you prefer. don't want them any more dimensional than they have to be. All right, and then, where'd our little image go? Is that the one that was inside? Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm just trimming it. Just trimming it, but still, can't see what I'm doing. So I must be getting dull or something. Do it through some tin foil. Here's some paper. Good. And just put that on there. Haven't had any mail the last couple days. That's always disappointing used to getting packages in the mail and then you don't get any. It's like, ah, I didn't get any packages today. It's not a fun day. I think I'll put it over here. So I'm going to open it. Boop, there it is. Let's zhuzh it up a little bit. Can be a little surprise on the inside. friend Angela, Crony Crafter, she got her art glitter glue for the first time. So, oh, yeah, let's 
glue that upside down. That'd be quite the surprise. Anyway, she got her art glitter glue for the first time, so I'm kind of anxious to hear what she thinks of it. She loves it as much as I do. Okay, so there's the front, and then you open it. Yeah, I like that, like that. That'll work. napkin is so pretty this just the colors in this I think are just gorgeous I love that color okay let me get the tip back in the glue or the tip not the tip I always say tip it's the pin pin goes in the tip there we go need to wash my hands too so I guess it's a good time to I kind of like the way this uh, thread is going with all of the napkins that I've used just kind of goes to show the color combo is pretty well coordinated not that it really matters because like I keep saying they're not going to the same person <laughs> that would be a lot of journals if they were I can't believe school starts next week, you guys. Summer just seems like it went by so fast. Of course, it always does, but... with that so much it's not like it's going to stay right in that spot especially right now but you know how it is just got to fuss with it anyway don't you Right. Well, you guys, I am going to take a little break, have something to eat, probably get to some of my house cleaning, maybe. <laughs> I need to get some of my house cleaning done. But um, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you got some crafting done while I was uh, working on that stuff. And don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you were doing, what you thought about what I made, if you want to. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.